Hello guys, welcome back um, to Big Fin Little Fin Aquatics, I'm Kieran. Uh, today what I wanted to talk about was how I installed my reverse osmosis system. So I'll take you over to where it is now and I'll give you a quick rundown on how I did it and why I did it. Reverse osmosis RODI, actually not just RO. Um, it was from a company called Finer Filters um, and it was quite cheap, it was only £37 and it came with the membrane which obviously does need replacing I think the membrane cost £25 to replace but for £37 I might as well just buy a new one every few months you know, rather than buying a new membrane and messing about with it and I'll show you how I installed it if I can get a light under the sink Here we have the joint of the reverse osmosis system and it was quite easy to install, it's not the easiest place to be though and record at the same time but this joint here, this has a tap on it on this side, I don't know if you can see that there, on that side there and that's the water water inlet to the RO system and all I did was I unscrewed the flexi hose from the main um, tap adapter part and put this in between them and there you go that, it was really that simple um, there was not really much more to it originally it did come with a different one um, and this part was screwing and I ended up breaking that because I tried to tighten it too much so that's what you can see now I bought a new one but the the um, outlet was too big for the pipe so I had to buy a reducer and then I wedged that over there but there's no leaks it's been set up for months now and um, yeah, it was really easy to do. There's nothing to it really. Basically, just undo two pieces and put that in between them and do them back up. Um, luckily, I didn't have to cut any pipes or anything like that. It was it was just undo two things and put the one thing in. So that's how I set that up. And then... And then that... Out, excuse me. Outlet pipe comes down into here, and then this is the waste pipe here, which I put into my toilet, and it just gets rid of the water. And then this is the outlet for the RO water, and that water comes out at around 5 pH, but it takes the, all the badness out of it so that's why I've got this but yeah this thing came from a place called Finer Filters uh, I checked again last night it was £34 with delivery and it'll do 50 gallons per day which realistically I should have got the bigger one but what I intend to do is just have a 200 litre water butt and have this running and fill it up and then do my water changes and then fill it up. I mean, luckily where I am, the water's included in the price, so, you know, <laughs> otherwise I'd be looking at a way to do it differently. So, there you go guys. It's basically one piece of piping into the flexi hose on the tap, screw the other end into the tap part, I'm not a plumber so I don't know the exact you know um, names and stuff for this but it was it couldn't have been more simple the only the only downside was that I broke the original piece um, I had to wait to have that one bought uh, sent to me but that had to come from China for some reason I couldn't find the right size anywhere on the internet in the UK so it took a while to get here but once it got here it was pretty easy to do and then you just pull that little tap valve and that will shoot water into the RO filter and it's done. So 
why did I decide I wanted an RO system? Well, the problem I have here at the moment is the water fluctuates so much that sometimes it comes out of the tap at 7 pH. Like this week, it's been coming out at 7.6. Um, in the winter, it tends to be like 8.5, and I have no idea why that is. Uh, I'm not well versed in things to do with the water companies so I really don't know why that does that but I just wanted some constant and um, well yeah basically consistency is what I wanted so what I plan to do is buy a 200 litre water but I've got a bin there at the moment I'm using that to fill up but it's not big enough so um, I'll buy a 200 litre water but fill that up three quarters of the way with RO water then add in some tap water whilst constantly measuring to check my pH because I want my pH around 7 7.5 but I don't want it to rise above, above you know 8 and flu the fluctuations too much for what I want so I'll have it go into there and then mix it with that measure it make sure that it's um, at the right pH and then put it into my tanks so yeah that, that's the reason why I, I wanted the RO system and like I said it's really really cheap you know um, the filter on it it's a, it recommends changing it every six months I mean for £34 I, I looked at the the um, the filtration uh, the, the membranes and they were like 25 quid. so I'm probably going to get the bigger better one next time anyway in six months time so yeah there you go guys how I installed my RO system it may not be the same for you you may have to cut pipes it does come with all the uh, guest joints and all of that other good stuff that you need if you have to cut pipes I luckily just didn't have to use them I could have used them I'd just rather not have to cut pipes because where I live is not a place where you can really be chopping up pipes and someone will have something to say about it so yeah there you go guys um, if you've got any questions regarding the RO system itself or how I installed it if you need me to go into a bit more detail because I understand that that video probably isn't the greatest but it is really difficult to get in under my sink and film at the same time so if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments section and I will answer them as soon as you ask them so Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.